What is up YouTube? Welcome to Orion Tech Tips. Today we have a video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. My opinions about it, my thoughts about it in late 2020. Is it worth it? Why? Why not? And of course we will talk about some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, uh, which I actually have not purchased yet. But we will be talking about that uh, a little bit. So, of course, we will be playing Black Ops uh, multiplayer. I won't be playing any Warzone, but maybe I will in a uh, different video. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? Actually, this is the first time I played the game today. Um, let's play Ground War just because that was the first game that was really the first game one that was really advertised for this okay i'll see you when we uh find a game and it looks like we found a game so we can go main yeah sure let's go to the main hq ground war Capture so we are of kill course your playing on pc this isn't like a pc enemy veto in the video AO. Or in like tech review, but of course, 1080p high. If anyone's wondering, uh, with V-Sync turned on, let's actually lower the game sound because it is I like cruise missile a loud game. Graphic, oh, on. Still, yeah, sure. 50. Okay, that's fine. So this is, I actually haven't played this in a long time. I did when I like, first got the game because I was excited about this. This is pretty much Call of Duty's attempt to try to uh, make a Battlefield game. Or Battlefield players uh, to buy this game. Or to at least like to play this game. On station, I might do some sniping. So yeah, let's talk a little, talk a little bit about uh, Cold War, Black Ops Cold War. So Nuketown, of course, is in it, like all the other Black Ops games. So someone's shooting. What the heck? Oh, I was just saying. Okay, so yeah, uh, I was actually researching the game today. And IGN gave the multiplayer a 6, the campaign a 7, and the zombies a 7. So the multiplayer is of course what I'm going to be spending a lot of my time in. Um, with a little campaign and zombies here and there, but the multiplayer mainly. Which, I kind of deceit at a 6, I'm kind of skeptical about it. Now that's not going to say I am not going to buy it. But again, I would be spending... Uh, like 60, wait, no, 80, like, yeah, 80 Canadian dollars to buy the game. Oh, we'll have to get out of here. So, if I'm going to spend 80 dollars on a game, will I really want like a mediocre multiplayer experience? Probably not, because there's so many other, uh, games that I can buy for that uh, $80 retail price tag. And of course, I'm not really going to get a like a deal on the game just because it literally just came out. Ooh. This is a big map, so I actually I might actually have to uh, switch to a sniper. I am I've been enjoying using the M13 for the past few months. The site isn't bad. I might. Ooh, my Enemy God. UAV overhead. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, Alright, I'll wait for my health to regen and then we'll, we'll try to actually go after them. Enemy UAV overhead. Okay, got one. We'll assist.
Enemy cruise missile incoming. This is oh, a horrible gun to use at range. Oh, what other sites like do they have like a long range? I think I have. No, I don't have all of them. Thermal. Maybe that will act a little better at long range. Reloading. That's not the best. Reload. But a game like this, I've spent over a hundred. Uh, oh, really? All right. I've I've definitely spent over. Spawn right here. To see. All right. Okay. If they spend like well over a hundred hours in this game just playing multiplayer game modes, I pro probably won't want to spend. Uh, like I'd be disappointed if I spent eighty dollars on this game. So originally I paid. I think it was like 60 something, maybe like 65 or 70 dollars on this game, because I did get it, I didn't quite have to pay a full retail price. Oh my god, this game mode is so crazy, that's why I don't really play it a lot, but I just want to demonstrate it. Certainly not the best at this game, but it doesn't help when there's like a team of like 48 people shooting at you. Sidearm people. In terms of the campaign in Modern Warfare, I have not finished it. I really haven't uh, played it off uh, off video, and that's just because uh, I don't really just enjoy playing it by myself. But I do like when I play voiceovers of the campaign. Thought that was uh, pretty fun. Another uh, complaint I heard IGN say with the multiplayer of the Cold War, Black Ops Cold War, is that like they were trying to like remove some, com uh, some combat mechanics to just make it more simple and feel more like a Black Ops game, which I don't mind that in of, in of itself. But what I do have a problem with is, I believe what I heard is the maps are just so massive that you just spend so much time running around in like a 6v6 game mode that you like you just want to be running around and not spending much time actually sorry you don't want to be just running around you actually want to like engage in gunplay which the shooting feels smooth and snappy just like any call of duty game i mean even like infinite warfare uh felt fine in terms of the um, gun mechanics and like the shooting felt snappy in Infinite Warfare and that game definitely was not the best. It wasn't as bad as the trailer though so I'll at least give it that. Alright. I'll actually demonstrate a view. Oh, there's a team. Where? Oh, 
How do I enter the tank? The tank, the tank, the tank. Okay, let's go. I see an enemy. It's hiding behind that wall. No. Oh, come on. What kind of you have? Oh, okay, okay. We're getting some lag. Probably due to my uh, subpar internet connection. I just died. Okay, so overall, I will definitely say I will get Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, oops. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. I am definitely curious about the Nuketown gameplay. In Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, I really did enjoy it. Now, I definitely got Black Ops, uh, I got Black Ops 4 the year it was released but i did definitely got it months late and then soon after modern warfare was released now modern warfare was definitely the call of duty game i've gotten the most into in some seasons i've passed level 80 and i have definitely that's never happened before in any other call of duty game If we can get this guy, oh, is he already? Oh, he's already dead. That's a pleasant surprise. Wait, what? Oh, there's someone just like right there. There's... What? Oh, small oh, bro. C, where is C? In combat, in combat. Is that all I can do? Oh my god. Oh! Engine fail, but yeah, I don't want to be here. Get more gear. A tank. Uh. Oh, right there. Load up? I can't switch my load up. Really? What? Alright. Oh, we're done. Okay, so... Do we seriously get last place? Oh no. Okay. We got some bad lag. It's midnight right now, so we definitely... I definitely have like really bad Wi-Fi, so that was, that, that was the reason for the bad gameplay. <laughs> Not my skills. But anyway, will I be buying Cold War? Yes, I will be buying it, but I just, I don't want to spend 80 Canadian dollars to buy it. But you know, I might have to. I might have to pull the trigger and buy it. But until there are, there are right now still lobbies in Modern Warfare, so I will definitely still be enjoying hours of Modern Warfare. Uh... And when I do buy Cold War, that's not to say I still won't play Modern Warfare, because it's a good game. Black Ops 4, Black Ops 3, they're both good games, but then when I when I get on, I struggle to find a player base. 
anyway, like this video, subscribe, and comment if you have any other recommendations. Until next time, I am out. Peace.